This is a quick review of the Cyclotricity Stealth 1000. It's a part electric, part pedal bike. Uh, when I say part electric, it does have the ability to be uh, solely run on electric, although you won't get a uh, massive amount of mileage out of it. The bike itself is very, very heavy. Uh, that's one of the things you'll notice when you do pick it up. And obviously, it being quite heavy, uh, stopping is greatly reduced. I've got a quick picture there of the disc brakes, which, um, in all honesty, aren't really effective. Uh, the bike itself has a number of really, really nice little features. Uh, it's got a lovely cycle computer on it and a big 1000 watt motor. Now, the cycle computer will show you the miles that you've done, the current speed, and it's where you adjust the amount of assistance that it does give you. Um, there are also other things, there's front and rear disc brakes which I've said which are a little bit better probably than V brakes although they're not that powerful and there's a really big battery on this version. The good thing the battery is detachable. Now as a quick uh, demonstration to turn this on you press the on button on the battery and then there's a button that's on the controller on the top which when you hold and press that down it obviously turns on. Now you've got two arrow buttons on this one which goes up and one which goes down and it goes up to assistance 5 and the more assistance you have obviously the easier it is for you to cycle. Now when you're on the road with this if I've got it set to number 1 it does give you a little bit of power. Now as you can see I'm on a basic uh, road here which hasn't got any cars on it thankfully so I've got it on number 1 and I'm going to be setting off with it now in a moment. Now, if I want to do a bit, I could just press the uh, up arrow or I could press the down arrow. And if I did go down to zero, it would be no assistance at all. And as you can see with one, I'm uh, going away there, I'm not cycling particularly hard, although this is on flat, and I've gained a little bit of speed there, sitting and doing eight and a bit miles an hour. Now, as I come to a stop, and I'll start to turn the bike around. What I'm going to do is put it on a greater level of assistance, and hopefully, then you'll see um, the mileometer go up a little bit uh, faster. Now, the one thing you've got to remember is if you've got more assistance, it is using more energy out of the battery. And I know I'm a bit shaky with the camera, but it's quite hard to cycle with one hand uh, and video with the other. But as you can see, I've gone up there to 10 miles an hour very, very quickly, and that's with the uh, extra assistance. You can do a number of other things. So you've got a throttle with this one which is an optional extra and if I just quickly turn the throttle you can see it is actually moving. Now just to let you know on this picture I'm not actually cycling here at all I'm just using it like a uh, like a sort of electric moped and as I'm going along I can basically just throttle it as much or as little as I want. thing is the cycle computer. The cycle computer is brilliant. It's got a mileometer on it, it's got a speedometer on it, it's fantastic. Um, but I say cycle computer, it's not to do with the cycle computer, it's to do with the setup of the overall bike. When you put the assistance down to zero, it does become a very, very, very heavy bike uh, to cycle with. Um, probably down to the weight, and that's the next thing. The weight of this bike is incredible. Um, I don't know the actual weight, the official manufacturer specs, but it is a very, very, very heavy bike. Um, so heavy, in fact, that you know you wouldn't want to have this over your head for a long period of time. Um, the back is obviously very heavy because you've got that big motor um, that is obviously attached to. Uh, the back there now whilst i'm down here and i'm talking about the discs the brakes the brakes in the front there they're similar they are uh, cable disc brakes they're not that good um to be honest they, they're probably one of the worst disc brake uh, that i've ever had on a bike um it may be down to the weight of the actual uh, bike itself um and that obviously does have a, quite an impact really when you are cycling quite quickly uh, and you need to stop, you really want the brakes to be pin sharp. Now, I'm not that heavy myself, I'm 9 stone, sort of 10, and so forth, so I am going to additional, a lot of additional weight um, on the bike, but uh, that does sort of, it, it does worry me if you've got someone who's slightly larger. Um, the battery pack I've got it actually on charge here now, I've taken it off, it takes up quite a lot of room there, so you can see you haven't got really a room for a bottle unless you were to attach it to the uh, the cross there. Um, the back there, I've put um, some sort of, I don't know what to call it, bags I suppose of some description. Um, the bags were from Lidl uh, when they had the uh, cycle offer on, the reason I put the bags on, they don't really look that nice, but if you're carrying anything, um, 
like sometimes I put my uh, Surface Pro in there or a laptop or a camera or something like that. It's, it's pretty nice to have it in there and not have it on your back. Um, we bought, when we bought um, the bike, we bought these with it. These are the mud guards that they will sell you. I've got to be honest, I would not buy them. They are very, very, very cheap. The back one uh, is actually broken already. There's a clip. And I don't know if you can just about see it. There is in there a cable tie holding it on. Um, it's not the best quality, but you're not really paying for the mud guards. You're paying for the overall quality of the bike. So just to show you as well, um, the cabling is really well hidden. Um, as you can see, they've drilled into the uh, frame of the uh, chassis. And all the cabling is routed through things like this. Um, apologies for the condition of the bike if I haven't uh, cleaned it since I've been out there. Um, something that some people have asked as well, uh, friends of mine, they said, what uh, have you got on the front? Well, you've got a single uh, gear on the front. I don't think, I suppose you probably could change it if you really wanted to. Um, but obviously, uh, that's what it comes with, uh, the single gear. And then you've got the gear in at the back there. Again, another quick video there with the Shimano derailleur. The overall bike is pretty nice. It is good, especially when you're cycling up a hill because it takes a lot of strain out of it. So if you are looking for a bike which is good for commuting, um, you don't have to put a tremendous amount of effort in and you're only going a relatively short distance. Um, this is a very, very, very good bike and for the money of it, I think this was about 13, 1400 pounds, um, especially with a thousand watt, it is, it is quite powerful. One thing to bear in mind though, the manufacturer does claim a 30 mile distance with it. Um, I haven't taken it 30 miles, I've done probably about 15 on it on a single run. Um, and the battery then was looking a little bit low, so I don't know how much more um, I could push it. But where I live in Wales, you've got hills uh, every so often, so obviously that takes out quite a lot uh, of power from the battery. Um, the battery does take a while to charge. It takes around about seven or eight hours just on a, on a long charge. So it would be something you need to leave on uh, overnight. There isn't really a quick charge function. One thing I forgot to mention as well, the shocks on this um, are, if I just show you there, relatively good. They are slightly adjustable. Um, so you could make it a little bit stiffer, but there is no rear suspension on this. Um, so everything is uh, lumpy and bumpy. One really good thing though, the seat is actually quite nice. Um, however, the standard, um, I, don't know, like, I don't know what this mechanism is called, um, but the, the um, standard bolt that came with it sheared completely um, on one of my first rides. So I've had to uh, replace that. Nothing really big to be honest, just general wear and tear. Uh, so overall, it is a pretty good bike. If you are thinking of getting one, um, you know, yes, do it. The company, Cyclicity, they are pretty nice to deal with um, and they will sort of do a little bit of a deal if you are looking to buy something fairly soon. Um, if you've got any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask and if you want to know anything, leave a comment.